for an animaniacs. Was that was just watching before this? We have pay or play contracts. We are baloney to the max. We're an animaniacs. I tried watching that reboot. I only watched like five minutes. It started off with like some 3D Jurassic Park looking. I was just like, nope, original for me. As you guys can see by the title, uh, people overwhelmingly voted to watch BAPS, which is available on Amazon Prime for $1.99 if you want to rent it. That's what I'm going to do, um, but you guys don't have to do that. Some of you, I think, said that you own it. If you want to watch it online but that's what we're going to be watching um instead of a holiday movie because we wanted to pay our respects to natalie who sadly passed away so uh and you guys voted between this and cinderella you guys voted for this so baps is today's movie directed by robert townsend a classic hi nicole hi cam powelton Hi, the boy in blue. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Queen. Hello. Also, I want to say thank you to everybody that attended the virtual Storyteller Showcase last night. I felt like it was a really fantastic event um, that went really well, and I'm glad we were able to do that. We were previously supposed to do a, a Storyteller Showcase in March, um, and it was obviously going to be a physical event and it got canceled clearly because of covid so it's really cool that we were actually able to accomplish that event and i felt like it went really well so thank you to everyone that um supported or watched or gave donations or anything like that because i felt like it was a really good event so thank you guys hi oh you've never seen babs what i've seen this movie like a million times hi queen Hi, Savannah. Yeah, Cinderella lost. But, I mean, Cinderella got a lot of votes, too. It was pretty close. Well, it wasn't that close. It was overwhelmingly Babs, but Cinderella did get a lot of votes. Um, hi, Nova. Hi, Marcus. Yeah, it was awesome, right? Queen, it was really good. It turned out really great. Hi, Mel. So I'm glad we were able to kind of bounce back and in the year with such a nice event oh it's fine um so it's supposed to be getting uploaded to youtube it was like three hours long um but i do believe it was recorded it was like a zoom thing so it should be getting uploaded to youtube that's probably going to take a while because it's so long but it should be getting uploaded to youtube yes we have watched baps before um we have watched baps before so this is actually a rewatch which we normally don't do but we're doing it now because you know we're doing it in honor of natalie we're paying our respects which you guys know we do so this is our second gonna be our second time watching this one for beast bait uh Babs is my movie I know every single scene and all the dialogue I don't even need to watch it <laughs> yeah we watched Babs before hi Brooke probably seen Babs once in your whole life wow man I watch Babs at least 20 times a year <laughs> I I love this movie like my I remember my old roommate when I was in college, was like so obsessed with this movie. She used to just have this movie on 24 7. 24 7. So, I like this movie. This movie is a classic. Um, like I said, it's directed by one of my favorite directors, Robert Townsend, who you guys know I love. I think they did something really special with this movie. So, I've seen this one a bunch of times. So for anybody that's going to watch along, you guys can let me know when you're ready and we'll start. Um, I am watching it, like I said, through Amazon Prime where you can rent it for $1.99. For anybody that doesn't want to do that, you can find a link or however you want to do it. So, Oh, you don't have a TV anymore? I don't even have a TV anymore, so I listen to the chat. 
classic for sure Babs is my movie black american princesses yes yes and you know this i do feel like this movie is like slowly getting to sort of the cult classic status that it deserves booyah um okay i will Hmm. Living large and taking charge, big boy. Booyah. All right, whenever you guys are ready. Yes, I do like your avatar, Brooke. I had to RIP to a legend. Hi, queen. The other queen. Oh, we have both queens here today. Perhaps is my top five of all time. I believe Kim Kimball did the hair. Oh, did she? Let's see. I can Google that right now. Oh yeah, look, she put on Twitter. For those of you, let's see. For those of you that don't know my story, Babs was my big break, Kim Kimball. Yep. Wow. I didn't know that. Learn something new. That was her first Hollywood gig. Wow. Nope, didn't know that. Well, people need to give Kim Kimball her respects too. Absolutely. Because I remember when she was doing Nikki's hair, people were throwing a lot of shade her way like she wasn't a legend. Turns out she's even more legendary than I thought. She did the hair for Babs. So a lot of people need to give Kim Kimball her respects, huh? Because a lot of people are copying her style, huh? Look at that. Oh, she also did the hair for the Cinderella movie with Brandy. I'm looking at it right now. Hmm. So I see a lot of people bit the good sis Kim Kimball style. This is good to know. No, I didn't start it yet. No, I said whenever you guys are ready, let me know. I did not start it. I did not push play. I said whenever you guys are ready, let me know. I did not push play. This movie is super cute. Hi, Kevin. Natalie was a comical genius. I didn't either, wow. Most definitely, I better give Kim her props. Hi, Alexia. I love the soundtrack to Baps too, especially the song I'll Be Loving You that they played throughout the movie. Oh, Queen said it's also available on YouTube for buy or rent. We're gonna watch Baps. Now, Cinderella, I've watched a thousand times. I love that movie. We're watching Babs, Alexia, which is available for rent on Amazon Prime. Queen said it's also available for rent on YouTube. Or you could try to find a link. I have not started yet, but I'm ready whenever y'all are ready. I'm going to be watching it on Amazon Prime. They playing our song, Nisi. Hi, Kimberly Frazier. Hi, Rico. Yeah, yeah, I did not start yet. I didn't start yet. I didn't start yet. I'm going to tell you guys when I'm starting. Um, but because I'm, I'm ready to go. So just whenever you guys are ready. But I saw some people say they wanted like five more minutes. Um, so whenever y'all are ready. I haven't seen this in a while though, so I'm glad to be watching it because I haven't seen it in a while, but I have seen it like a bajillion times. <laughs> Hi Owen. Owen, oh, it was so good seeing you in, at the event too. I was like, look at Owen. I was like, Owen, get his life. I, the, that was like a really nice chat that, that was going at the event yesterday. Um, 
I don't have a link co today because I'm watching my Amazon Prime video. So if anybody does find a link and is able to p post it, because I know sometimes the chat acts weird with like posting live links and they like mysteriously disappear. <laughs> so you guys could just let me know when you're ready. Hi, Katina. Oh, you have Prime? It's available for rent on Amazon Prime for $1.99. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, we watched this for Bees Big a couple years ago. It's been a while. Hi, Ori. Wow, the fact that you've never seen it, Nicole. I'm excited for you. <laughs> Owen was having his amen moments last night for the event. It was a really good event. And it's funny because normally, because it was also a very long event. And sometimes when you're watching an event, when you're tuned into an event for like that long, you can start to feel like, you know, tired or whatever. But I felt like everybody was good. I felt like the arrangement of the show went really well. The topics were all different. It, I just thought it ended up really going well. So it was funny, too, because in the beginning they were like, you know, oh, whenever you do Zoom stuff and Zoom events, there's always the possibility that like things could go wrong. But I don't even feel like anything went wrong. Like we could hear everyone. We could see everyone. Like, nobody went over their time. Like, the pace was, like, nice and quick. I thought it went off. I felt like that was a really good event to be, like, the final event of the year. I thought that was, like, we just gonna, like, send out the year on this note with this type of energy. Um, haven't seen it ever. Now I'm excited. Almost having his amen moments last night for the event. It's, no, it's fine. It's fine for anyone that missed it. It's fine. Just I hope you guys can catch the uh, replay on YouTube. It's totally fine. It was just a nice event. It was a really a nice event. Um, <laughs> if y'all Owen said if y'all watch the replay of the event, if you're gonna watch it, have your journals ready for notes. Like for real. Yes, <laughs> I was writing down people's names. I was writing down people's websites. Like, oh, what's the name of their book? Like, I was writing stuff down myself. I was writing all over my post its on my desk because I wanted to definitely look up some of some people's work. Notepads ready. It's been a long time since I saw this film. My hands are cramping up. It flowed well. You'll be able to see it because they recorded the whole thing. They're just going to upload it to YouTube. So I don't know if the con if the chat will show because I don't think that when you do a Zoom recording, it records the chat like how it is on YouTube. But you'll be able to watch the whole thing start to finish. Um, Babs is one of my favorite movies. Yes, me too, Alexia. It flowed well. <laughs> Honestly, there's a lot of black classics that I haven't seen. I mean, I know you're so young. So some of y'all are like real young. So some of them you wouldn't have seen because you're like 21. <laughs> um, I wish I could have went, but I'll watch the replay. I don't know when they're going to post it. It was long, so it's probably going to take a while to process. But whenever they post it on YouTube, I'll post the link. I'll I'll put a link in the community tab. I'll probably, you know, post a link in Discord, post a link on Tumblr, all the normal places that I post links. You guys will see it. I'll make sure you guys see the link um, to the event from last night. I feel you. I still haven't seen Eve's Bayou. We've, and we've definitely done Eve's Bayou for Babs too. So, okay, I'm going to get ready to start right now. Let me push. Play. I'm getting ready to start. I'm getting ready to start. Getting ready to start. I'm pushing play right now. Play. All right. Let me turn it up a little. Move my phone over. Actually, move it over this way. Oops. Maybe a little more. <laughs> can't hide behind the young excuse you how old are you i don't think you're that i don't think you're that much closer to 30 directed by robert townsend oh look i posted a link i can see it so it should be there it shouldn't disappear so i'm gonna pause it since owen posted a link pause 
I just paused. I just paused. Because Owen posted a link for anybody that wants a link. So I paused, paused. I paused. I paused. I paused right on the opening credit that it says Halle Berry's name. They're in the diner. Um, hi, Natalia. Yes, we were watching BAPS. I literally just started. Um, so I paused it. I'm right at the beginning. I'm, let me see. I am four, I'm 43 seconds in. So I'm 43 seconds in. So <laughs> Anybody that wants to get to the 43 second mark, <laughs> it's up to you. But I'm right at the beginning. So Owen posted a link for anybody that wants to try and grab that link. And then I will restart. I'm on Prime, but that should work. <laughs> Mickey did burn that toast. <laughs> I like burnt toast. I like my food super well done, so I really can't talk. That's why whenever somebody asks me to like make them some toast or like make them something, I'd be like, I like my food well done. Like I really mean it, like well, well done. Just so you know. So I'm gonna get ready to restart in like a minute or two. Just so you guys know, I'm still paused. I'm still paused. I'm still paused. If you guys are ready, I'll play, but I'm still paused. This hearty ass breakfast, <laughs> Creole toast. I like my food well done too. Yeah, that's where I'm paused at. I'm paused right at the part where she's like putting the food down. So if you guys are ready, I'll push play. Uh, I too like burnt things. That's how I know it's cooked. Exactly. Like, I just can't run the risk of my food being undercooked. Like, I just can't run the risk of like, Salmonella, E. coli. I just can't run that risk. No, I'm not gonna restart. I'm just gonna unpause whenever you guys are ready because I'm still at the beginning. So I don't need to restart, but I'll unpause whenever you guys are ready. Which seems like you guys are ready. So I love burnt popcorn, burnt toast with some butter, chef's kiss, undercooked equals disease. Yeah, that's why, I mean, not with, like, toast. Undercooked really only equals disease if it's, you know, especially, like, meat or seafood. But I don't like soggy, like, mushy bread either. And when you put, I feel like when you under, just sticking with, like, toast, for example, when you, like, don't get the toast hard enough and then you, like, put the jam on it, the bread becomes soggy. And especially for people that do, like, butter and jam, like, the bread becomes soggy like, people that undercook their toast and then they put the jam and then they, like, roll it up. I'm just like, listen, I'm not about whatever this squishy bread lifestyle you, you're about. You know, it's fine, though. Like, people can eat their food however they want. I'm just not about that life. But I'm pressing play because I've still been paused this whole time. But I'm playing now. I just pressed play. I just press play. You know you said you want everything well done. She already said that. She didn't just say it. <laughs> Don't pay him no money. Think he dolomite. Look at her scraping the fucking burnt parts off the toast. She's obviously scraping the burnt parts off the toast. That's what I say. I want everything well done. Yes, bring it to me burnt just like that. Thank you. Just the way you like it. And introducing Natalie DeSalle. This is her first movie. Robert Townsend loved taking a chance on people, giving them their first movie. He's done that with a lot of friends. You heard that right. Look at Bernie, Bernie Mac. Look at Uncle Bernie, Nisi. You daydreaming again. 
Oh, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Ten dollars. Another phrase, another syllable. Hey, shut up. Mr. Johnson. Yeah, we watching back, Swirl Lover. If it's too tight, take it off. R.I.P. to Uncle Bernie, too. You know what my stepfather always says anytime somebody passes away? My stepfather says, we're losing all our black stars. That's what I think every time I see Bernie Mac face. We losing all our black stars. In California. Nisi, you ain't even a dancer. I am a dancer and I'll be dancing my butt off for some. Oh, look, costumes designed by Ruth Carter. Ruth Carter. So Kim Kimball did the hair. Ruth Carter did the outfits. Townsend directed. And you got me. Look. Look at this pimp down, pimp in distress outfit. You could just keep your sorry. She was sorry excuse for a boyfriend. I do know that you couldn't show up here on time to walk us home from work. This damn limo service. <laughs> the buses don't run everywhere. <laughs> Hi, Cherry Man Gaming. Page a cab, luxury cab company, a.k.a. Uber. When the bread starts falling apart, sis knows she burnt that. He think he dolomite. Yeah, this was her first movie, Owen. Tire perm, I've been telling you about forever. I ain't gonna cut my hair. I ain't cut my hair. If anything, I'm gonna bring the perm back. This movie is funny. I love Robert Townsend. He's a legend. Uncle Bernie. R.I.P. Bernie. I like that about Robert Townsend. We're a lover. Oh, y'all watching Baps. That's the thing about bread, though. though you can turn your toast from burnt to not burnt. Oh, Mr. Johnson. Bernie Mac is hilarious. I miss him. Mm, Low-key, their work uniforms were a look with the hair and the gold. I was watching Bad Santa yesterday, saw Bernie and got sad. You say you wanted these poom pooms, so you got them. Yes, look at the poom pooms. Look at Hallie doing it with the zigzag part. Ruth Carter been out here for a minute. Uh, it's been too long since he's been gone. Video dance girl of the world. Damn, Bernie Mac and Isaac Hayes been gone for 12 years. Died on the same day in August 2008. I just realized that everyone in this scene except Hallie was all in how to be a player. I think it's a sign from God. My mama always told me good things come in three. This is it, Mick. Nisi, you bugging. But what if I ain't? I love the relationship between Nisi and Mickey. Come on, Mickey, let's go to LA. Let's do it. They're like both so earnest in this film. Hell yeah. Fine young rich men in LA. Yes, Mickey. Uh, partying. It's Tuesday night. Ladies night at the Gold Tooth. We get in free. Go, go. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Ladies night. At the Gold Tooth. Uh, I'm with Mickey. We're not using our entire life savings to move to another state for a competition. Oh, consecutive days, not the same day. Look at Big Worm. Broke down Superfly. Such 90s hairstyles. The hair. Get down on it. Uh, look, he just moved her to the side. 
Shakima, right? Keisha. I went to school with her. By standing on the wall. Get your back up off the wall. They look so cute. Now, I always thought that Natalie had the most beautiful face. Which I know y'all have heard me say before. Like, this is my girl. Ooh, not with the Jerry curl. I love black girl friendships. Hi, Cordelia. I'm trying to finish a final, but logging on to say hi, Saran Babs is fire. Nisi, ain't you thirsty? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Ain't you thirsty? <laughs> Look at her face. Girl, they're not paying for them drinks. <laughs> Let me get four hurricanes. Y'all got class, like waitresses or something. That'll be $16 even. Now it's $16 for one drink. Look. Look. <laughs> Look at the bartender. Hell no. Nah, let's go. He's looking like, that's sad. That's sad. That's too much. Holly looking like Malibu Barbie in there. Uh, not in this life. You ain't her damn daddy. She's like, boy. Oh. Jab. It's on now, brother. Get on up. So I can knock your ass back down again. My gold tooth. I swallowed my gold tooth. Oh, that's what they get. Pow! Ladies, ladies, ladies. Uh, friendship goals. Hi, Olivia. Oh, I've seen this film like a lot of times. Time check. Let me give you a time check. Hold on. Uh, nine minutes and thirty-seven seconds. I think I'm around ten minutes. Uh, Queen ATL culture. You went to school with who? Oh, never mind. Talk about the movie. I thought she was talking about somebody in the movie. Y'all got him free. Holly's like, I'm not with it. I'm recognizing so many people in this film. The gold teeth. <laughs> Natalie had the most perfect teeth. She was a true beauty. He ain't even trying to hide his wandering eye. You ain't even got a driver's license. Like, how you gonna open a luxury cab, page of cab service? Y'all got class, like waitresses or something. Hi, Sizzleman. I'm watching it on Amazon Prime. Owen also posted a link if you scroll up. And um, Queen said it's also available for rent or buy on YouTube. Alexia, I'm screaming. Come on, let's go to the bathroom. Well, that's going to happen. You'll see. They playing our song. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Used to be our song. Out of here. Yes, Nisi, very thirsty. Stay on code. <laughs> And that's Toothpick from Don't Be a Menace to South Central. Will you let go of her arm? You ain't her damn daddy. Uh, player hate heifer. That's such a 90s insult. Hailey's outfit. He's swimming on that floor. Ha, <laughs> Kimberly. But for real, $16 for four drinks. That does sound like a good deal now, doesn't it? That's $4 a drink. He did come through and handle that, though. He did. He did come through and handle that. When they were being disrespected. Uh -huh. We don't know how to play no damn polo. <laughs> she keeps hitting this man with her fucking hair. 
See if you can find a basketball lounge. The hairstyles are everything. They, they're not even going to be able to see because the hair. Where my thing at? I can't see. What's blocking the screen? I paid good money to see this. I'm sorry, the flight is all booked up. Hello! <laughs> Would you mind lowering your hair? Hey, you with the hair. No problem. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love the flight attendant. Maybe you overdid it just a little bit. Maybe I did, huh? There, there, there. <laughs> It's beautiful, right? Like the flight attendant was nice. She was nice about it. And they made her black too. Deborah Wilson, thank you. Yes, that's her name. I couldn't think of her name. Ladies love! Ah! Ladies love! Ladies love! In the flesh. Ain't nothing like a brother that practices what he peaches. He done married his baby's mama. You a good man, too. Because I know bitches be throwing that ass. Fucking Halle Berry. <laughs> okay, hello. I'm about to be in the Heavy D video. I'm about to blow up. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm running late. Uncle L. Okay, baby. Keep licking them lips. I know you with your baby's mama, but if the shit don't work out, <laughs> they are. Look, her her jacket says Atlanta Diva on the back. Miss Ruth Carter, Miss Miss Carter will design a motherfucking costume. It's on. We just saw L L. I want to exhale. <sighs> that part didn't come yet. <laughs> Hi Aquarius. Uh, where was I? We the first ones here, for real. Uh, let's see. He was talking all that good shit, then got his ass punched down to the ground. Got no money. Yes, Hallie, you deserve better. Call him out. <laughs> that one hit him hard. He got real quiet, right and dirty. I'm going to blow this audition up. I'm going to get this. Look at her trying to show out. She thinks she got it going on. Oh, yeah, I got this. I love how they're amping each other up. I love their friendship. That was good. <laughs> but you might want to go on home now because <laughs> I'm here. Mm, 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 mm. I used to just bust out in this dance all the time. I used to just be like, mm, 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 mm. she got her own music. Yes, go Holly. Uh, no, no, stay. Mm, 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 mm. That's my girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. Yeah. We got this. Booyah. That's my girl. That's my girl. Hitting everybody with my hair. I ain't hit nobody with my hair. I did hit a few of them, though, because I was rooting for you. I wanted you to win. I mean, Holly could do some hair in this movie. She could do some hair. Time check. Uh, 1655. You can see the sweat in Holly's little plastic outfit. Uh, 
They didn't think so. Deborah Wilson. She poking dude's eye out. No, their hair ain't that big, tall at the airport. The white man said, oh shit, her hair just assaulted him. I'd be mad. Deborah Wilson. <laughs> they could have attached the hair after the flight. <laughs> Where he at? Oh, and is this your first time watching too? Some of y'all is your first time watching. Deborah Wilson deserves her flowers as well. Mookie's be throwing that ass. LL did look good here. LL Cool J, like him. LL was always fine. Hallie's outfit, I want it. This movie is just so wholesome. You know LL Cool J got hella ass thrown at him. Look at her trying to show out. <laughs> Hype woman. No, no, stay. We might need a few extras. I just smile the whole movie. Girlfriend power. She got her own music. Looking like an extra from Showgirls. Honey with the Vogan cannot dance at all. I got I gave you the time check, Aquarius. They just got to the house. She needs to stick to hair. As someone who's been to auditions, Hallie ain't dressed for it. The hair ain't suited. Atlanta Diva on the back. I love Nisi's confidence and optimism. How many C notes we talking here? In the etiquette notes. They look so cute right here. Hallie's little blonde wig. Big boy. <laughs> Living large and take a charge. Big boy. No, we can't be doing that country stuff. <laughs> we smile sweetly. And say very well, thank you. And yourself. You cool? Ring the doorbell. This blonde wig is everything. This wig Hallie got on. <laughs> Alfred. Begging. They better be like, oh, well, that's cool. We can't even walk down the street. It's like, oh, oh no, see, it's on. It's on now in Beverly Hills. It's on in Beverly Hills. It's on. I'm Denise, and this is my friend Tamika. You can just call me Nisi, her Mickey. Hi, Hush420. These outfits are life. The hair is everything. We all need friends like Nisi and Mickey. They fix up their hair real quick. You want an old school car, Alexia? These old cars he got are nice. See right here my etiquette notes. Hallie looks amazing as a blonde. This is the hair that Storm deserved. <laughs> Nobody tell Nicole. Nicole's never seen it. And I think this might be Owen's first time too. Nobody tell them what's gonna happen. We'll just all watch it. <laughs> uh, she has a see-through purse. The see-through purse though. Oh, well that's cool. Cause where we come from, crackheads be begging all the time. This clear purse to match her outfit. And there's Hush420. I love Mickey. Warning. Oh, look. I just saw your comment, Nicole. Warning. Like, Saran, I'd be asking hella questions and films that I've never seen but don't want the answer. So, please, no spoilers. Yes. Natalie has a beautiful face. Beautiful. I've always thought she had the most gorgeous face. He looking at them mad weird. Holly serving body too. Dude dressed in white look like he got a taste for some jungle fever. Alfred mad as fuck. Ha! <laughs> that outfit is showing Holly's body. Yes, Holly. Holly is. I y'all know I fuck with Holly. That's my girl. And I love Holly and Natalie in this. And apparently they became real close, you know, in in real life. But that some ugly woman he tried to hook up. She was ugly. He should have left her ugly. She looked look, like Laquisha Jenkins with a bad hair weave. You need some throat lozenges or something. Lead the way, Alfred. Manly. She about to be like, I'm calling this motherfucker Alfred. Who is Alfred? You know. 
Batman's homeboy. Alfred. So good in the sequel. He would. All you have to do is say, Batman to the cave, and everybody would lose their job that day. And you would get that job. <laughs> to the Bat Cave. To the Bat Cave. <laughs> to the Bat Cave. Ask him to say it. They, they want him to say to the Bat Cave. Everybody lose their job that day. Me and my cousin used to say all these lines of dialogue to each other all day. You need to throw a lozenger or something. <laughs> Alfred is pissed. <laughs> you know, Batman's homeboy. To the Bat Cave. Um, highly serving legs. They literally brought color into this house. This white man got hella attitude <laughs> and being hella judgmental over someone who's a butler. Buddy looking at her like he ready to pounce. Why they got two toilets? They got a fucking bidet. You know how rich folks is. They got to feel it. They got a choice in everything they do. And that one looked like it's for number two. <laughs> oh my gosh. You just turn these two handles right here. Boom! <laughs> the shit is, the water's getting all over the floor. She tried to put her foot in it. <laughs> this is the type of shit that happens to me when I try to use the bathroom at somebody's house. Or like in Father of the Bride when he breaks their mirror because he's going through their cabinets. And then he gets caught. First of all, they said you broke some mirror in their bathroom. Girl, you're on my back. You're on my back, girl. Is everything all right in there? Look at them trying to get up. Look at them slipping. <laughs> Hallie is hilarious. Yes, everything fine. <laughs> Shit, come on. These bitches are hilarious. Everything's fine. You got a mop. Hi, Loren. Yeah, they got an intercom. Five hours? Shut up, Mickey. They're going to have to clean up. Um, he would be so good in the sequel. You're right, girl. I see what you're saying. Batman's homeboy. Uh, I need friends like these. I love them. Natalie was hilarious and so pretty for real. <laughs> Actual comic book Alfred is too nice and proper to be compared to this man. Right, the scene with the toilet, Brooke. <laughs> Oops. The bomb. I love the colors. I just want to hang out with them. Uh, the patent leather have them all slick and slippery. <laughs> That's what Hallie get for I know that she knew what she was talking about. <laughs> Sitting on it, iconic. I'm not exploring the house with someone I don't know. <laughs> have you got a mop? <laughs> That's my bat, my bat. So now he's like telling them what he wants them to do. Yeah, we watching BAPS, Jaren. We're still in the beginning. Uh, if you scroll up in the chat, Owen posted a link if you want to catch that one. I'm also, I'm watching on Amazon Prime, I rented it. And it's also available for rent on YouTube. Excellent physical comedy for actresses. Yes, very screwball, like a, like a whole screwball element with physical comedy, which we don't see women get to do a lot. And especially not black women. <laughs> I almost fell on my chair laughing at Hallie turning that thing on. <laughs> and despite the presence of a toilet and bidet, it's not actual. Dis right, it's not disgusting toilet humor. Yes, they changed. They had to change their outfits. 
Yes. The costumes in this movie serve. Like, Natalie with this red lip. They got these gold teeth. That is so sweet of you. The wardrobe. Um, oh, I think she took her shoes off because they show her like trying to put her feet in there. And I think she was trying to like put her shoe in there to stop the water because then she didn't have her shoes on anymore. Holly was probably like, I can't be slipping and sliding in this water in these heels. Robert, they're going to have to come off. Hallie's makeup is everything. I would have been suspicious. Look, Hallie. Bravo. That's beautiful. I would have been suspicious. Nisi and Mickey's second outfit are super cute. Everything they wear in this whole movie is super cute. Both, both of them. I love their denim outfits. Um, I dead ass say why come because of that line from Natalie in this scene. Why come? Hallie and Natalie are so beautiful. Robert tweeted about how Natalie came to the audition for Babs. So sweet. Yes, I. so you guys know I saw his, um, his like Making of the Five Heartbeats documentary. I saw that. And he also had like an open audition call for that. For like weeks, they just like had people come until they ended up like casting. So I think that's also why Robert Townsend has like introduced a lot of new talents because he brings newcomers in he has open auditions which a lot of people don't do anymore get out of here they look at, they fucking ran out <laughs> they got all wet and had to change why come these outfits cute she got the double lip color let's not get scared we can handle that old man we're gonna get this ten thousand dollars Oh my God, this is the bomb. It's the bomb. And then they dapped each other up. It's the bomb. We gonna get this money. Let's go to dinner. Oh my God, this dinner scene. This dinner scene. This dinner scene is about to be everything. The dark lip liner. I'm loving the red lipstick on Natalie. I don't trust this nephew, dude. Everything is cute. And they cute. Hello, body. <laughs> like, damn, I didn't even notice the liner. <laughs> they skedaddled. <laughs> He's like, I don't like surprises. They're like, oh. Hmm. Hmm. I love them. They're perfect friends. Uh, that room does look nice. This whole house looks beautiful. Hallie's top, the denim bralette and skirt. <laughs> mm hmm she did. What exactly? Natalie in this cup. Natalie in this cup. Taking these fucking drinks. Look. <laughs> I remember when, like, this scene, like, was a meme. Like... Her like sipping. That's the one, the oak. She told us about the oak. <laughs> Give me your plate. I'm not there yet. I'm ahead. <laughs> but we're about to be there in a second. This is a beautiful table setting with these white flowers. Gorgeous. What's this? Mickey said, what's this? No wonder why you sick. You ain't dead yet. I don't mean to be rude. I'm still lead hardy. She's like, mm -mm. it's but it's bland. It's bland. It's too bland for me. Too bland. Like soul food. Excuse me. Give me a plate. Give me your plates. <laughs> she was like, I'm not playing. I said, give me your fucking plate. You heard me. I don't mean to be rude, but you ain't dead yet. <laughs> can still eat hearty. 
She got the chef in there. She about to chef it up with her nails. And she's so confident for this to be her first movie. Uh, the room does look nice. Look, the whole, look, the whole kitchen applauding. Like, yes. This movie's so cute. I love this movie. Natalie's so cute. The water sip. Her animated eyes. <laughs> Sips water. So cute. They blow in these white folks' minds. <laughs> they never met folks like them before. The hood meets the hills. That could have been the exact description of this movie. The hood meets the hills. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Drink up, boo. The lighting is really nice, too. Sips water again. <laughs> Sips water, sipping that water. She needs to drink the water to drown down the lies. <laughs> What's this? Points at food. No wonder why you sick. You need to scoot over. Cause I know it's poodle hair. I ain't got no problem sleeping on this expensive white carpet cause I know it's poodle hair. Oh yes, Antonio. Hold on. I love Natalie's voice, so much personality. Gasps and Gordon Ramsay. I will always love and respect how this movie was always very specifically about black American women. Yup, even the title, Black American Princesses. I love Robert Townsend. You need to go take a cold shower like I told you to. Like girl, I need some privacy. Give me a plate. The cooking monologue we about to get. I was dancing the other day when I was cooking like Mickey. <laughs> she said, no wonder why you sick. I can't. With the Beethoven remix and everything. Yes. <laughs> she right though, the remix. Yes, Natalie, show off. Dancing while cooking. She was whipping that shit. Fresh biscuits. <laughs> because I know it's poodle hair. I'm hungry now. Forget dancing. Open up a restaurant. Oh, I don't know if you missed the very beginning, Owen, but that's actually um, that's their dream. Because Mickey loves to cook and Nisi likes to do hair. So their dream is to open up a restaurant with a hair salon in the back. That's their dream. That's why they're trying to get money. That's why they were auditioning for the video girl of the world thing. Because it was a $10,000 prize. And they're trying to save up for their dream of opening a restaurant. Where Mickey could cook and Nisi could do hair. And that's why Halle Berry. And that's why. <laughs> Hell yeah. Some mozzarella, mozzarella and fettuccine. Ooh, hilarious. But yeah, that's also why Halle Berry broke up with her boyfriend. Because he tried to shit on her dream. But it's all an act. Well, if he's so rich, why did he have to come all the way to America to find his wife? I don't know. But I ain't got no rock on my finger. So I say we keep shopping for our baby's daddies and may the fattest wallet win. He love Mickey Soul Food. Okay. What's on good times? Because he didn't eat pork in his food. And I said, no, no, no. I'm waiting on my African prince to be my baby's daddy. So I stopped using pork because I started using chicken broth. I couldn't be doing that. So I don't know what you're talking about. What I cooked is much better than that bird stuff Alfred's been cooking for him. Stop the heart. Not the way she do it. Mm -mm. Not the way she do it. I want you to relax. I think you're overreacting. Yes. Look at Mickey. I love this outfit with the flowers. She got a different wig on today. Alfred was a player hating heifer, Brooke. Look, he's looking like he feel good. He's looking like they've been slowly poisoning him in this house. 
I don't know what you put in that meal last night, but I feel great. He got a little color back. He got the ascot on. He's like, listen, I'm trying to live life. I'm old. I'm in my last days. I'm trying to live life. He looked excellent. <laughs> Went to the CD store. Listening stations. Man, throwback. Um, for, uh, they better be clapping. Shut the fuck up, Alfred. You know that food smell divine. Alfred know he got one on a plate, too. You looking for the classical section back there by the jazz. I'm looking for the rap section. Bitch better have my money and pull up to the bumper, baby. You trying to get your groove on. Right this way, dog. You. What's <laughs> that? What you know about that? Busta Rhymes. woo -ha! <laughs> Get it, get it, get it, get it, Uncle Lou, get it, get it, check it out. Hilarious. Everyone in this movie was funny, like everyone, like even the little small tiny parts. Even their pajamas were cute. Mickey trying to get her freak on. Woo! Hi, Kylo. Damn, I love this movie. Like, even the people that work there can see that, like, the old man is, like, feeling happier. And they're happy about it. It's only a couple people hating. Four seconds, three seconds. Woo! Oh, no. My hair. She have got her hair wet. My hair. My hair got wet. Oh, God. She just mad because she got her hair wet. Now she going to be nappy. Look at Told that girl she should wear a swimming cap. Nothing. She done got her hair wet. She mad because she going to be nappy. I told that girl she should wear a swimming cap. It's over. Her hair was dunked and soaked. I'm going on a shopping spree. 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 I know I'm a little bit ahead because I know what she's about to say because I know every line of dialogue in this movie. He want to go shopping. Take the Black American princesses shopping in Beverly Hills. It's what they deserve. It's what they deserve. And all the girls in 2020 looking like Mickey right now. This hair that she got right here in this scene with the flip ends and the curls on top. Hi, Tim. Good luck, good luck. Yes, with the yellow, beautiful. Because I know Hallie is considered a great beauty also. So they, they got both the girls serving face. The category is face. Um. Hi, Mar. No, no. Yes, with the cheetah jacket, with the old man, yes. With the peach. They having a good time. Oh, I just beat you, Owen, for that block. Uh, where was I? Mickey going off. Alfred was a player hating heifer. 
Yeah, support your friend. Out for just drag, soul food, stop by the record store. You need to go take a walk. You look excellent. He looks human now versus looking like a zombie. He looks all lively and shit. The old man is dying of cancer anyway, so who the fuck cares about his heart stopping? Ah, the music store. I miss that. <laughs> Tupac. <laughs> Not the rap. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I, too, wanted Alfred to send to pick up my rap albums. I'm done. <laughs> Let's see. Robert, let folks, go, go, let folks go off. She looking good. Getting my whole life today. Hi, Kamisha. Look at their little workout clothes. They look so cute. Everything they wear in this movie is cute. Like, Ruth really did that. And her shirt say Atlanta on the front. I can't believe we waiting around for some man to die. It don't feel right. And he's such good people, too. I know. Like, they don't even feel right about it because they really like the old man. Like, he's cool. We done missed our stories today, girl. Today was that we are going to find out who killed Adam's wife. I know it was the housekeeper. That was... It was that hoe Jillian. You watch the stories. You watch the stories. I videotape and get the fuck out of here. I beg your pardon. Who killed Adam's wife? It was Dr. Matthew. Dr. Matthew. I knew he did it. Thank you, Alfred. She calls this man Alfred the entire movie. Manly. Alfred is shook. Yes, Holly! And Natalie! Yes! Natalie's wig! These sunglasses! This green! Makeup! Uh, the gloves! Mmm! Right this way! Yes. This dress. Look at her face. Oh, Natalie. You gotta sing for me. You gotta sing something. Yeah, here. Yeah, here. I ain't letting you go till you sing something for me. Yes. Look at her face. Whoo. Mickey with the curves and the Chanel earrings. Mickey got Chanel earrings on. We got to have class. We in a classy place. <gasps> I want to exhale. I want to exhale. <sighs> Hallie literally jumped on Leon. She screamed. Leon! I love doing when exhale. I want to exhale. Girl, Leon. <sighs> Leon. <sighs> you getting us in trouble. I know how to act. I know how to act too. <laughs> I I knew the best I could. Ain't you that girl that hit the other girl in the face with your hair? Uh-huh. Happy. Natalie looking Hallie looking so damn good and Natalie. Natalie's face just looks perfect. Her makeup is, it's like beautiful nude understated. Since you've been gone, it's been too long. Since you've been gone, look at that, look at that. This movie is so funny. It's been too long. And she has on like a diamond spider brooch. Everything, everything, everything. The girls sitting everything everything and it's like a mini dress and it's like a mini dress mickey got the legs out with the long ceo 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 man this made me want to call my cousin 
We used to say all this shit to each other all day. This food ain't all that. They should have had Mickey up in the kitchen. I'm behind the comments, I know, because that's one of my favorite scenes in this movie, so I had to watch it. <laughs> Hallie got the booty. Yeah, Hallie, look, had a little, she had a little something poking out. Grandma, grandma could grease the scalp, couldn't she? Robert let folks go off. I love that the staff are happy to see him happy. Now she mad because it's going to be nappy. <laughs> Fucking Hallie. I feel like Hallie doesn't get enough chance to be funny. Because people like to cast Hallie like a certain type of way. Oh, and there's Tim. CEO, CEO, CEO. The Babs on Rodeo Drive. We're watching Babs, Tim. You think I'm come? You think I'm gonna come crawling back on the phone with Ali? Uh uh. I hope them negative words taste real good rolling off the, your lips, cause one day you gonna have to eat them. He said, he, he hope I don't get played. Tell him I hope his mama don't get played. I'm not there yet. <laughs> the old man is having a ball. The fits. It's always the rich son, child, or younger relative scheming. These workout clothes are cute. Yeah, he's real nice to them. It's for you. Ali, you tell him I'm through with his sorry ass. Go on, tell him. Alfred is shit. I'm really digging these outfits. She's through with your sorry ass. Videotape every episode. Wow, that took me back. Thank you. You're tripping because you're in Hollywood and he hopes you don't get played. Oh, oh, he hope I don't get played? I'm tripping? And he hope I don't get played? Tell him he better hope his mama don't get played. She hopes your mama don't get played. He said, you're tripping because you're in Hollywood and he hopes you don't get played. He asked if you were biting your lip. Yes, she is. That's truly extraordinary, isn't it? She looking like, oh, whose side are you on, Alfred? He's sorry. Maybe he's tripping, but he misses you very much on the real. Hmm. Good night, miss. The Chanel earrings, OMG. Natalie is so beautiful. Leon is cast. Her nose, her lips, her eyes, the whole thing. Look, this man tickling her toes, tickling her feet, kissing her feet. Mm. Why are you wearing them gloves in the house? Look at her. Look, she got the French. She got the French pedicure. Natalie. Uh, Natalie showed all the girls how to do it in this movie. I need a friend to act a fool with me in public. <laughs> CEO. CEO. They ran into everyone at this restaurant. <laughs> Stop embarrassing yourselves in front of Heavy D. <laughs> I'm going to watch this again when we're done. Hallie making me want to go on a treadmill. Grandma could grease the scalp, couldn't she? Hallie! Hallie is just hilarious. Uh, I love seeing Hallie in this role. Right Today, people like serious Hallie. She's an excellent comedian. I saw some of her humor in X-Men bloopers. Oh, Hallie. She seems like she's always joking around. I heard her and Keanu got along real good, too. It seems like everybody gets along with her. Hallie. Nobody ever has nothing to say bad about her. Right? I feel like Hallie's hella funny. Let me try it. Let me try it. What's the combo? They want Hallie to always play sad and serious. Yeah, I think she's she's a, a more diverse actress. 
Why doesn't she get more comedy roles? I don't get it. Alfred is warming up to them. I like it. Uh, Y'all know that video of those friends singing Sierra's goodies while their friend does the choreography? I always think of this film when I see that video. This is hilarious. Antonio! You do not deserve Mickey. Beautiful, gorgeous face. Beautiful smile. Natalie had the most beautiful smile. Just gorgeous face. Alfred's really acting like the go-between. I love Hallie in this quirky role. One of my fave parts, Alfred seems amused. How the actor not laugh while saying this. She's growing on him. <laughs> yes, the feet play. <laughs> How Italian. You putting a ring on this finger? Mm hmm. Alfred came down with the paddle. What is this? What's that game white people like to play with this paddle? Your skin is too soft, too stubble. Boy, please, he a thief, girl. Oh, this is my favorite part. This part. Oh. Oh. Mm. This is my part. <laughs> Look at how he putting the sweatpants on. This is my part. Oh, you stealing, huh? So I'm about to beat you like you stole something then. So you stealing, huh? Uh-huh. I'm gonna have to beat you like you stole something then. Uh-huh. That's right. I have to whip that ass like Tyson. Look! Look! Hallie put the Hallie put the scarf down! I'm gonna have to hit you hard. Like Tyson. Uh Hallie jabbed his ass. Nancy. Woo! What? Nisi, what? She jet dodging. Tyson wouldn't hit him like that. He wouldn't. Nah, he hit him like this. Uh. Nah, 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 nah. You ain't seen his last fight. Because he was in the kitchen getting the popcorn. Tyson. This. <laughs> they whooping his ass. Uh. They jabbed this fool. Woohoo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, look who it is. Motherfucking Antonio. And I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Oh, you stealing, huh? So I'm about to beat your ass like you stole something then. I love that line. Help you out, I'm calling the police. No, the girls had nothing to do with it. it. Was Antonio? This part was my part, Kylo. Isaac, our plan can still work. It will be our words against theirs. Her fingerprints are still on the safe. Mm hmm. We know what the plan was. Set up. Set up. Like Tyson. The pajamas. Skeezers, huh? Skeezers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hell, he knocked this nigga out. Now I'm gonna have to spank that ass like Tyson. Skeezers, huh? Hell, like, now I'm really gonna have to beat the brakes off your ass. The fact when they woke up in the bed, they was like, oh. Oh, we're gonna have to fight. Look, she beat the shit out of him. Look at his face. And he hit me from behind. Mm. Where was I? The fact that Hallie put these sweatpants on under her nightgown. Antonio is a honey trap. That's it, a cricket paddle. Thank you, Owen. He got a cricket paddle. 
a nice gender reversal. This part with the pajamas, they ready. This scene where they catch Antonio Steven ass. He messed with the wrong ones. Hallie is too funny. Nah, cause you was in the kitchen getting the popcorn. You ain't see his last fight. <laughs> Get him, Nisi and Mickey. This is Cap and the Winter Soldier versus Iron Man. <laughs> They beat dude down. Damn, Antonio. This is such a perfect buddy comedy. Yes, you have to watch the replay, Mar. We had to watch Babs for Natalie. This is what people voted to watch. This is my movie, so. <laughs> God damn, someone get the ambulance. I don't know how he managed to sleep through all that. You took the CPR class, right? Yeah, because all the cute guys was in there. Did you learn anything? No, but I did meet James. Go on, you check it. They think he did. You check it. You check it. It's on your side. You check it. Punches him again, pal, got him. Alfred looked at him like, what is Antonio talking about? I'm going to bed. <laughs> Dude got bumps and contusions. He got his ass whooped for real. These are the types of films they usually have men starring. I love that it has two black women. Yeah, Robert Townsend did that. Mickey, you barely knew the man. Move on, girl. Yes, R.I.P. Natalie. R.I.P. Natalie. We love you, Natalie. Respect. Yeah, because all the cute guys was in there. <laughs> you took it. You took it. You took it. <laughs> the boy in blue, she is me. <laughs> He's alive. I'm going to bed. With these hair wraps. So this woman right here, I think she's the writer. She wrote the screenplay. She's the screenwriter. Tracy, I'm pretty sure she's the writer of this film. We didn't have nothing to do with what happened last night. I swear to God. I'm pretty sure it's her. They had her do a little cameo. It's her, right? Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, she wrote it. Y'all know how I feel about a movie where the woman is, where where the screenwriter is a woman. I just feel like women write really good screenplays. So many times we watch movies and I'd be like, I wonder what, who the screenwriter was. And then the screenwriter is like some bomb ass woman. She did a great job. And I like that Robert Townsend gave her this little cameo in the film. Because he directed it. And she wrote it. And Ruth did the costumes and Kim Kimball did the hair. What? All stars. All stars. Tens across the board. The motherfucking category is talent, bitch. Yeah, she just re revealed that Isaac tried to set them up. Yeah, that is kind of messed up. Mickey, Nisi, Mickey, Nisi, Mickey, Nisi, Mickey. How's he doing? Do we want something to eat? Look at Hallie. She looks so cute. She got the little newsprint shirt and the white pants and the belt. Look at this belt. Uh, yeah, but girl, but didn't you say when it got him up, it got him up. But it got him up. Up is up. Same way my grandmama did. Then I tell you my grandmama used to make my granddaddy a drink to get him up? Yeah, but didn't you say that that shit got his ass up? <laughs> I mean, Hallie definitely had the little thing poking in these white pants. These white shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey, you barely knew the man. Move on, girl. Mickey was trying to marry a rich man. I understand her frustration. Robert Townsend deserves his props. Yeah, she is. She's so pretty. 
I love how they showed the hair wrapping, yeah. I like Niecy's pink nighttime outfit. She did a great damn job. Women do write extremely well for women characters. Yeah. Gotta give Natalie a little homecoming. R.I.P. our OG queen. Your theory is so true. Women do write great screenplays. Uh, I love blue jewelry. I always wanted a sapphire. This movie's comedy gold. The blue dangling earring look nice. Mickey's earrings, they look really nice. Holy shit! $50,000? I mean, shoot. Ain't no way we could take this. Look, they ripped up the money and everything. Because they feel bad about waiting around for this man to die so they could get paid. Booty, yes, Hallie. Hallie is slim thick. <laughs> Reminds me of Megan Good. Similar body types. <laughs> up is up. <laughs> this green on Natalie and that top Hallie has on is cute. The song. Mm -mm. Look at them dancing. Look at Hallie dancing. Every time they show Hallie dancing. And Mickey got the pink, the fuchsia with the cow print. Look at Alfred. Go, go, get it, get it. Get it, get it. Look at the old man he got on this suit from 1974. They felt like the old man became their friend. So they didn't feel right taking the money. Yes. And she got the white shoes. West side. Oh. Go, Hallie. Go, Hallie. My back shirt, my bra too tight, my boots shaking from left to right. Go, Hallie. Go, Hallie. Go, Hallie. Go, Hallie. Go, Hallie. Go, Hallie. Yes. I love this part where they're dancing. Hallie doing the butterfly. They better dance. <laughs> go, 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 go. This suit that this old man has on. This suit is definitely from 1974. The roof is on fire! They got Alfred to get out of his little shell. <laughs> yes, Saturday Night Fever suit. They jamming. Choo choo train, let me see you do your thing. This song also always makes me think of Bring It On. Because this is the song they use for the routine in the end. You feeling kind of dizzy? Uh, got a little short of breath, having too much fun out there. He's sweating. You was getting down out there, Mr. B. I think it's time for us to go home. That's probably what made you fall out. Uh, oh shit, 50K, the other dude was only gonna give them 10. Women are amazing screenwriters. Uh, booty cheeked up. <laughs> you said Holly's cheeked up. Women write women the best. Them shorts. They dancing. Takes a lot to tear up $50,000 check. I get it. Integrity and all, but still. <laughs> uh, okay, Saturday Night Fever. They better dance. Saturday Night Fever suit, yes. That outfit Hallie got on, I wear it now. No ambition. Their whole look, the whole look of Nisi and, of Nisi and Mickey is like back in style now. This whole look. Music makes me want to dance. Okay, now Alfred is cool. You know, they had a ball filming this scene. He's sweating. <laughs> he got moved by the spirit. Alfred can't help but feel their vibe. Too lit to quit. And they're nice girls. And they're really not trying to take advantage of this old man. Like, they're friends with him now. Manly's embarrassing us. 
So that's how you got interested in the fabric business. And that's how his ass got rich. So he basically got rich because of the black woman, Lily. Um, that's a problem, honey. How we confessing? I know. Now she's starting to feel bad. Mm, right, they could have robbed him day one. They're sweethearts. Hallie smile. Yeah, right. Oh, and she feels bad. Right. Grandmother. Oh, she feel bad because they're not the grandkids. Right. She feels like everybody. She feels like everybody around this old man is trying to take advantage of him, including them. Which is why they didn't take that money, but they're still there, like perpetrating this fraud. That's why she feels bad. Because Mickey and Nisi actually are good people. They feel bad now. The story made her feel real bad. Everybody has been taking advantage of him. Where have you been? Ever since we got home. What? I've been thinking, okay? But how are we gonna get up out of here? The guilt, the guilt of what we doing. That man, that's a nice old man. But people trying to use him like you and me. You think I got up and left? We should have been done got up and left. We should have been done got up and left. We shouldn't even still be here. Like this is wrong. Now that old man down there is a nice old man and got nothing around him but people trying to use him like you and me. Why you think I got up and left? We should have been done got up and left. Yes, I did love the dialogue in this movie. He gonna ask why. And then I have to tell him the whole mess. been a part of this whole big lie yes the dialogue was good the screenplay was great like that lawyer lady wrote a great screenplay i mean i know she's not really a lawyer in real life she's a writer <laughs> everything i love this robe how he has on uh she feel bad because they ain't the grandkids. Some things are priceless. The story made her feel real bad. Everybody has been taking advantage of him. This is sad. They really like him and just want his last days to be good. Excellent nuanced writing. <laughs> that hair, the robe. Yeah, like it's a good movie. I feel like Babs is a great movie. Like it's not just a cult classic. Obviously it's a cult classic because of like the hair and the outfits and all that. But it really is a really good movie. 12, I mean, I would feel bad too. Anybody else probably would have taken them bags and killed Alfred <laughs> Mar and been like, peace. We going back to Atlanta. <laughs> the guilt is eating at her. We should have been and got up and left. Can we talk about this long, yellow, luxurious robe? Nothing. We worse than when we started out. Holly showed her range in this movie. Maybe not. The slang is working. Yeah, like they learned some good lessons while they were there. They both showed their range for real. And like I said, it said introducing Natalie. So this was her first movie. He gonna ask why my conscience is a strong thing. 1215, <laughs> her little Southern accent. Nisi's personality and energy could be out there, but she's a good person. <laughs> I want Hallie's wig. Hallie got a little Kim wig from the wait a minute video. This is like the best wig ever. 
I was thinking the same thing. Lawyer lady came through. This robe, this is a beautiful robe Hallie has on. It's a beautiful robe. Somebody probably watched this and was like, that's Dorothy Dandridge. It's flowing. Hallie got me wanting to try blonde locks. She's doing a Dear John type letter before booking it. Four page letter to the old man. That nephew was evil. He put them up to this. What I love about movies is how when characters change, their outfits change too and reflect the character's art. This movie did a real good job of that. Look, Ali! And their song is playing. And Ali cut off the tired perm, y'all. He let go of the perm. They also thwarted a robbery. All the outfits that that old man bought them, they could take it and sell for some cash. Hallie's dad is from Georgia, so it makes sense. Oh, I didn't know that. They also revitalized an alien old man. This robe dress hybrid. That scene in the music, Hallie, you better break out in a song. Song and dance. Look, queen, her man cut the perm. I took your advice and decided to help myself. Look, he got a driver's license. Cut off the perm. He said, I'm a changed man. Your boy offered hook me up. It's funny because she met James at the CPR class. Forever. Aww. He's like, you're my dream. You keep saying I don't have no dreams. I've only had one dream since high school, and it's you. This robe dress hybrid, such a grand robe, gown like. They're playing our song. I want Nisi's yellow robe and pink nighty outfit for my own nighttime attire. Ali! <laughs> Wow, he cut the perm. Oh, Alfred, a player hater. Ali looking nice. He got rid of the of the perm. I didn't recognize him. Alfred playing match ma matchmaker. It's such a cute rom com moment. He showed up with the cut hair. Can we get a dance number? The lighting. Yeah, this is a really nice scene. And Mickey outside talking to James. He's looking up, her impact. Married that man. He got a driver's license, so now we could put that luxury car service into reality. Get it. He's being gentler with Hallie too and tender. This is the kind of stuff you deserve. James, look at James crying. This is the kind of stuff you deserve, all this nice stuff. Look at James shedding a little tear. You deserve nice stuff. You deserve a big old house. You, 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 you. You deserve your own backyard. He, she's looking like, everybody else got a little white dog. Why can't you have one? He's crying. <laughs> We gotta watch other people eat. I wanna eat too. <laughs> I wanna take you out to dinner. I wanna eat too. Your Sunday clothes on Wednesday. <laughs> Jaren, you are hilarious. Don't think a brother a punk cause he crying like a little girl. But you're my queen. I love you. <laughs> He's really, she's looking like, okay, you never said nothing like this before, Alfred the Love Doctor. I need it! Knocked his ass in the water. Dang, girl, I said I mean it! Alfred playing Cupid and whatnot. Alfred the Love Doctor. Whoops. Whoops. We need... Nisi and Ali's wedding. I want Nisi's cooking outfit. My heart will melt if a man called me his dream. A beautiful woman won't make you get your life together. 
<laughs> he wanted a mute. Uh, Owen, you know Owen, they're doing a um, they're doing a Broadway show now of Babs, and I think it's a musical. I feel like it is. They don't make movies like this no more. Oops, sorry, my phone keeps falling over. Uh, fucking movies making me believe in love again. <laughs> love black love so very much. Hollywood with this purple sweater with no shirt, no bra, nothing. Yeah, she does deserve all this nice stuff. Man showing his sensitive side. James crying like a stuttering baby. I want to eat too. Church closed on Wednesday. He loves her, wants the best for her. He's just in love, it's cute. He wants to provide. Don't say it if you don't mean it. Look at this. Oh, uh-uh. She smacked that shit, uh-uh. You was the one who was about the money, not us. Can't believe Mr. B is related to you. Gave her the low blow, speaking of relatives, house Lily. You could keep that little cheap $10,000. Mr. B offered us a hundred grand. He offered us 50K each. Yeah, rip up your little $10,000. I would have been like, go ahead and rip it up. Go ahead and rip up your little cheap $10,000. We literally got offered 10 times as much by Mr. B himself. Keep your little money. Right, get that shit out of my face. Don't say it if you don't mean it. <laughs> I mean it. Oh, good. He could swim. It, yeah, it is going to be a musical, right? I do want to watch that show, that Broadway show. Yeah, Babs says they're getting a Broadway revival. And um, it's a musical. They've already cast the leads. You can look it up. It's like at the end. It's not like something new that they, like, it's... They already been decided to do it. It's like already in production, but just COVID. It was supposed to come out this year, I think, but COVID like shut Broadway down. But they've already cast everyone in. Like it's already, it's already finished. It got dark as soon as his pale face popped up. SMH, wow, low blow. Keep that money. She said, nah, slap that check. Get that shit out of my face. Rip it up. You slime. I ripped up more. Rip that shit up. We don't need it. Yeah, I hope it. I hope it. I mean, you know, I'm sure they're going to go through with it now, especially because Natalie ended up passing away. Oh, Mr. B brings out the tissues. She's like, I never got to tell him the truth. I'm not crying. You are. How can someone look beautiful crying like Hallie? Mr. B. He kissed her hand. Oh, this got me feeling things. Look, plot twist, final reveal. He knew that they wasn't Lily's grandkids the whole time. Cause he knew that Lily never had any children. He just liked having them around. This movie had a lot of twists. This movie had a lot of plot twists. Who the picture remind you of? Lakeisha Jenkins. Who the picture remind you of? There she go, right there. They looking all cute. I'm not going to drag it. Oh, look, Owen. I don't know. I feel like Mr. B. Loki knew. Uh-huh. Yep. He knew, Owen. He knew. She never had kids. He knew the entire time. Nisi and Mickey were Mr. B's blessings. Lakeisha Jenkins. Who does remind you of? He liked their company. They gave him life. Yes, their little traveling outfits. 
<laughs> Listen, I'm all for being honest, but telling someone devastating news while they're on their deathbed, deathbed might not be the ideal time. Luckily, he already knew. Natalie Ponytail. Out for getting all misty. Because they leaving. They brought some new life into the house. Manly, you know you want to cry. Mickey with the whole look. The makeup for this movie was just really, really nice. I love that they keep doing this like gorgeous nude face on Mickey. Natalie's so damn beautiful. Mickey with the whole look. I was thinking that maybe the lawyer lady might be his long lost granddaughter. But that that could have worked too, but I like how they ended up playing it out. That he knew the whole time because Lily never had any kids. Oh, you're still here. He accepted the nickname. Alfred. We gonna miss you too. Aww. He had more fun with them than probably ever in his life. That black American vibe rubbed off on the old man and Alfred. He said, I'd like to thank my BAPs. Mickey and Nisi. Baps. My black American princesses for making my life pleasant in my last days. Please continue. They have a plane to catch and I'm a piece of shit. It's so funny that the, the lawyer is the writer. I really like that she had this little cameo at the end. Will reading. To my baps, I leave. You guessed it, Nicole. He left Mickey and Nisi everything. He left everything to them. Ha, Isaac. To bum ass. You shouldn't have ripped up that $10,000. You're going to need it, brokey. Look at James crying in the back with the pinky ring. Look at Isaac stuck on stupid. Look at his face. Look at him blinking. Ha! And he and he left Alfred a bunch of stuff too. He let he put Alfred in charge of all the fucking servants and left him a bunch of shit. He like left everything to fucking Alfred and Mickey and Nisi. Yeah, leave. Leave the house. Leave. Walk on out. Go look for an apartment. I love their traveling clothes. Thank my baps. Yeah, this worked out better. It was more touching that he just played along. The end and the beginning. If this old man left everything to Nisi and Mickey, I would be ecstatic. Black American princesses. The only salon restaurant in Beverly Hills. They opened it and they named it Lily's. The scene right there was where here was a mic drop moment. Luxury cab service. James and Ali's page a cab luxury cab service. And that raggedy ass bus. So they, so they page them and then they come pick you up. Tell me that's not Uber. Tell me that's not where they got the idea from Uber. Fucking Baps. And it's like all the luxury like old cars. They use that for the cab service. To my Baps. A hundred million. Natalie Face. And eggs and extensions. Bangs and bacon, weaves and waffles, and eggs and extensions. Look at Dennis Rodman. Rodman. I'm going to have to take you blue. I'm tired. I'm tired already. I'm tired. Whenever you get tired of the dude that runs the beeper company, I'm tired. Yay. Look at Alfred in his white suit. They blessed Alfred too. Should have kept that check. His whiteness can't compute. 
Isaac be gone. I'd be like, get the fuck off my property. And then his lawyer became their lawyer. That everybody comes to the grand opening in Decatur, Georgia. This movie was so damn good. Yes, Natalie in the white suit. Mm -hmm. Lilies. I love that the lawyer is there too. Yeah, like the lawyer became their lawyer. Our boys got the luxury cab, page a cab. I'm going to have to have my cameo if I write a movie. The ending and the beginning. Lilies with a Z. Weaves and waffles, bangs and bacon. They sure did. This is the Uber and Lyft inspiration. Smell. Mm. Bap should get royalties from Uber and Lyft. Look at them. Look at them hugging. These are my girls, Nikki and Nisi and Mickey. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm glad you got to watch it with us for the first time, Nicole. The white and silver suits offered us all smiles. Them girls came to the hills and doubled up and impacted those people's lives at the same time. Yes, Decatur, Georgia. They look beautiful. This movie was so damn good. Gotta get the DVD. Yes. Yes. Such a feel-good movie. I remember. I thought you said that you own this one, Queen. I thought you said that you did. I knew some people said they had the DVD. I have the DVD and VHS. Shine on, Natalie. Rest in heaven. Yes, absolutely. We love you, Natalie. R.I.P. Best female friendships. I get why Babs got all the hype. Well deserved. Yeah, I'm glad you got to watch it with us. This. Oh, look, look, look. Hair consultant. Wigs designed by Kimberly Kimball. Yup. I just seen the credit. Kim Kimball. It sure did say that. Wow. Now that I never knew. Really an all-star all all -star lineup. In front of and behind the scenes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, more black girl friendships, being authentically black. Thank you, Miss Natalie DeSalle. We love you, Natalie, RIP. Yes, rest, rest in princess -dom. to our black American princess, Natalie. Uh, so since we took today off, uh, next week we'll probably do a double feature. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking it's wild because you guys remember we had to take a day off in October because Chadwick passed away. Isn't that, it's just 2020 has been a lot. And then we had to like double up on some of our Halloween stuff. So, um, next week we'll do a double feature i'll put some options in the community tab for you guys to vote just like how we did for this but i'm really glad we were able to watch this um this movie really stands up it's still a beautiful movie really good movie with a really nice message and i'm glad that we were all able to watch this together so uh this was fun as always everyone r.i.p to all the black legends in this movie who have passed yes Queen Natalie, we stand her a star. Yes, hi and bye, Meek. Me too, this lifted my spirit. Such a great friendship. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end on a high note. So, um, I will see you guys next week. Hopefully everyone had a great week this week, had a good time. Um, and I will be putting, like I said, some movies for people to vote on for next Sunday. We'll be doing a double feature of holiday. Bye, guys.